It's easier than ever to send a message to Congress thanks to apps and email, but congressional offices are swamped by the amount of phone calls, emails, letters, and tweets coming at them every day. And the technology to deal with all this mail is antiquated. According to the OpenGov Foundation, they've studied this problem. Seamus Kraft joins us. He's executive director of the OpenGov Foundation. He co-founded this civic technology organization four years ago with Republican U.S. Congressman Darrell Issa of California. Seamus, welcome to Central Time. It's wonderful to be here with you. Thank you. Leading up to the confirmation vote of Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, one senator said he got 50,000 emails and the Capitol switchboard was jammed at one point and that wreaked havoc then on the Senate's voicemail system. How is technology holding up in congressional offices? Well, I think it's pretty clear that it's not holding up. Uh, Congress is in the middle of a decades-long slow-motion healthcare.gov style crisis of its information technology, its systems, its staffing. And it's not just the mail. It's not just the phones. Remember, these are the means for securing the public's right, its First Amendment right, to petition your government for the redress of grievances. And I think that anybody who's tried to call your congressman, anybody who's written a letter and not gotten a response or sent a tweet and never heard anything bad knows exactly what we're talking about. Um, but the, the worst part about this is uh, it's just as bad for the folks who serve inside of the institution, young, hardworking staffers who are trying to represent the views of their constituents. They're trying to engage, and Congress just hasn't given them the tools to do their job. You know, that's the bad news. I think the good news is that, is that this is totally fixable. It's not any one person or party's fault but I think we've gotten to a place where it's everybody's responsibility to fix it. And over the past decade, what has happened to the growth of email? Oh, good gracious, it's exploding. You know, I, I served as a junior staffer for four years in the institution before we started the Open Gov Foundation, and it, it's mind-boggling, the growth of email, the growth of digital communications, and that's totally understandable because technology has become the critical infrastructure of our personal lives, of our educational lives, heck, with Tinder, right, even our love lives. It just hasn't been brought to bear on, on the institution. I mean, mail has gone up, email has gone up 548% over the last decade. And that's a change that's not turning around. You know, the internet is out of the bottle. It's not going back. Uh, Congress just hasn't caught up. So what is the fix here? How could they fix the, the communication? Well, the good news is that there are solutions all around us. You know, I'm talking to you right now on an iPhone. We use mobile communications to conduct banking, to conduct everything else in our life. Solutions exist. It just is now a challenge of getting those solutions into the institution and adapting the rules and the culture to fit. Uh, right up on the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue, you know, just about a mile from Congress, uh, President Obama pioneered how to do this, how to get it done with his signature technology teams uh, called the U.S. Digital Service and at and If you remember that healthcare.gov collapse, he brought in experts from the technology, data, and design communities, paired them up with long-term government veterans who knew how the bureaucracy worked, and look at the better service that was delivered to the American people. Congress just needs to look up, look up at the White House, look up at the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue, and bring that power of modern technology in-house. And your organization, the Open Gov Foundation, said Congress spent $288 million on technology in 2014. So why isn't there a sophisticated system that can handle all this mail? That's a great question. And it's one I think that is perhaps beyond my understanding because clearly the money's there. And re remember, that $288 million is the floor. That's what we were able to find. But we had to navigate Congress's paper-based systems just to get there. Um, and that's why we've been pulling together a plan to help Congress enter the Internet age called the Congressional Digital Service, right? So adapting the, uh, the pioneering work of President Obama's tech teams to the wild and woolly world that is the U.S. Congress, all with the point of helping the public access their legislators, hold them accountable, and really have their views represented in government. It's, it's really that important, but the solutions are right there in front of us.